I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Um, I'm a French producer. I produce um, documentaries, fictions, and web contents. But first of all, um, my point of view is um, uh, during three years, uh, I was the deputy director at Radio France. This is the French uh, uh, major French public uh, radio station. And uh, I would like to share my experience with you because um, we heard many things about new format, but sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's uh, interesting to to share the experience as the broadcaster. And, uh, and the radio is a specific broadcaster because the, what is um, the question we had and the mission I had during three years was how we can build on new format uh, on the radio. And the radio is where we speak on the radio and we have a rendezvous. And on the website uh, is a screen and we edit the website. So what kind of new format we can have. Uh, so, but uh, first of all, so this is the summary, you can read it. Because uh, you, know, you know that when we, we are creating something, we, the first question is what do the listeners uh, await? And, uh, and what do the users, the, yeah, the users await? Um, so we don't know them very well. And the young generation consumes less linear radio than the elders. So we wanted to reach them uh, to keep the audience for the radio, but to reach the other, in another audience. So I will tell you the story. First, um, I have two parts, my presentation, how to innovate your story, and uh, because we have to sing to the users, and I would like to keep in mind some rules to tell a story, just, just, before, just before starting the story, and after the focus um, about radio and digital. So a story is this, when you are working on a web content, uh, it means that you have different words, uh, the story, but you have to think about the audience, browsing, the sound, mix, text, images, sound, do you want uh, interactivity, do you want uh, what kind of audience you want to reach, and, um, and you have some tools, because when you need to create, um, you have different tools like Raconteur or Storyfy, uh, these tools are on open source, so you can get it, and after you decide to organize on your website where is the image and the editing and the text and the video or whatever. So this is the first, um, this is the beginning. We have to, uh, we must know everything because after we will be several people around the table to think about the project. So what do you have to keep in mind? Uh, first, I, will, I would say that um, don't make a web project if you want to say something. Uh, make it only if you want to show something or if you want people to hear something or if you want people to see and, and read something. This is the, the matter of the point of view. Secondly, don't try to change the world. I heard that because I, I worked on the documentaries a long time, a long, long time, and, um, and all the filmmakers uh, are thinking about that because uh, sometimes we are more interested in stories very far from home, but it's better to, to have a look and to be aware of what's happening just, uh, just around, uh, around us. And on the web, there is another thing, is don't work on something you know very well. Dots are crucial. And um, it, it's crucial because, uh, because what is magic and wonderful when you are working on web contents is you are a director or a filmmaker or a creator, but you are also a user. And if you are a user, so you, you can, you can give what you wait for, and you can share your experience. And also, don't use your brain only, but also your instinct and intuition, because uh, every month, while well, the, the world is changing, and uh, the technology is changing, and the way to tell stories is changing, so it's necessary to be aware of that. And the, the, the last thing is to think that the viewers or listeners or users will feel while seeing, listening, your short pictures or words. Uh, I would say that um, you must think that perception is as much important as the story itself. And maybe it's a bit trivial when I'm saying that, but it's, it's uh, really useful and relevant. So, um, I want to make a project, but who are the users? The user has got all the rights and the other has got the duty. And I like this sentence because the user consume according to their needs. It depends if you want to consume on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, every, the, the morning or the afternoon or during the weekend, and you don't tell the same stories. And the narrative is made through the voice of the user. 
So I will uh, show you a different case study. I don't know if they are the best case study, but um, it's interesting because when you work on the radio, radio is 7x7, 24x24. So, um, and when you're working on the web content, sometimes it needs three months, but on the radio we need to do things in three days or four days or one week. That's why we, we used a lot of uh, open source tools. So um, obviously uh, we must keep and serve the radio audience and to reach and seduce the web audience. And if you want to understand a little bit more, it's uh, so the job when you work on the radio. Yesterday the, the radio was the producer and broadcaster of linear audio flow and now and now you use uh, non-linear things and data and data storage and value and interactivity and the community. So we ask many questions and uh, and sometimes you have the answers, and after there is a new tool and a new technology, so you have to think about, about it again. Um, and I, I would say that on the radio, this is the best, the best place to think about where, what is the web content, because you can use everything, and the radio has many archives. I think this is the same in, in Poland as well. And uh, in France, um, the Radio France works a lot with INA. Uh, this is, uh, you know, it's the Audiovisual National uh, Institute. And, um, and I think that our in society, it's, uh, it's obviously interesting to listen to the last archives and to tell stories with that. <laughs> so this is my, my brain when I'm talking about radio and digital, is this. And you have to find your path. So how to broadcast and consume pictures on the radio website? And what kind of stories do the listeners, users await? It's this. My brain is like an image, so I'd like to share that with you. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you um, this. So I don't know if you know Pierre Boulez. Where is it, Pierre? So Pierre Boulez uh, is um, he's a conductor, very, very famous. He died last year. And um, in Radio France, we have uh, different uh, radio, radio station, uh, cultural station, news, music, generalists. Uh, there are seven, uh, seven uh, radio station, and we wanted to use what we called a long form. And a long form is a big picture, and after you scroll down and and you have text, and it, and and you can use either text. It means that when you click on the word, uh, you have different things. So we, we did that in French and in English, and it worked a lot. I can't remember the, the audience, but, uh, but it traveled a lot everywhere because he's very famous. So you scroll down. And uh, so the other, Claude Abramont, is very famous, and he knows, um, he knew the conductor very well. So you, 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 can, uh, you can click on the red words, and you have new idea. And when, when we did that, we thought, um, how does it work? Uh, this, just to say, you know, when, when you are, this is the number of pages, because uh, when you want to use uh, and consume a web content, which it depends on if it's on your smartphone or iPad or web or desktop, you want to know the length. Is it one minute? Is it 30 seconds? Is it two pages? Um, so it's necessary to explain that, and after you have uh, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, everything what you want to share, and the credits as well. And so you scroll there, and uh, what we liked, and I think this is why it worked uh, very well, it's, it's like an abstract, a digest of his life, if it's possible to make a digest of his life. And, um, and we, so you have a sort of thing link here. So if you click, you have the name of the pianist and all the details. And after you go down, and you can have some archives over there. And it's necessary to use the sound, and you can do something, it's, well, it can be very playful. So if you click like that, this is like a flip book. And you can share only one part, or the long form. So if you like music, you should go there. And after you can have some video, and that one is very interesting because Pierre Boulez uh, was um, talking about uh, the reconquest of freedom, and as a conductor, um, I well, listen, but I, I would say that it's like a director when you want to create a web, uh, a web content.
The fact is that when I played, I composed the structures before, I was uh, totally responsible for that because I wanted the anonymity of the composer. The composer was just a transcriptor and not, nothing else. But I mean, very uh, early I was aware of the fact that this was totally impossible. It is possible in some cases, only some extreme cases, but not always. You cannot base a uh, composition on that. But I did not want to go back to 12-tone system, because I found the 12-tone system uh, impossible uh, as a restraining possibilities you had. So therefore, I began to develop a system where the freedom was possible. And I conquered my own freedom not only on the 12-tone system, but also on the possibility of composing purely uh, with a system, generally speaking. Uh, and so here, so what you said is like uh, when you're working on a, on a, on a web project, and, um, and so many people uh, decided to share just the video, and that's why it's interesting you can share just the video or just the text or, or just a page uh, of the long form. And um, I will show you another one. So, up. Um, when you work on a radio, um, sometimes you have some events and uh, and very important events. And I, um, when we we were partner of the Cannes Festival, this is the cinema festival, very famous, and we thought how we can do something, uh, how we can make a project on the website, but every day um, using uh, new technology. So we worked on Storyfy, this is a tool, very easy. And every day during the Cannes Festival, it was two years ago, that one, um, we asked drawers, um, it was a um, uh, look and a reflection of a photographer or a cartoonist or a designer combined with audio and written analysis by the journalist and with those of people who tweet, show, tell and share in social media and in the internet sphere. So I, I would say voices raised in flow, namely the tweets. And what was interesting is that you can have the tweets from... Sorry. Uh, they are here. So you scroll as well. So you have, uh, you use the... Um, Every morning we had uh, on different stations on the radio uh, news about the festival and the filmmakers and the films and movies. So we used um, the sound of the mo in what was um, broadcast in the morning and, um, and after the cartoonist decided to represent um, what he saw during the festival. So it's like a nice, nice story and you have a live tweet. Uh, so you don't need to go to Cannes, you can stay in Paris or in, in Varsovie and you can follow the festival. Um, it, was, uh, uh, it worked very well and it, was, it worked um, so well that we decided to use the same format for the, the, the American um, campaign for the presidency and for Sochi, the Olymp Olympic Games and, um, and Avignon, which is a big festival as well. Uh, we could use it for learn, learn to share, it could be possible. Um, I don't know what the cartoonist could draw, but um, I'm sure it's possible. Um, so this is, um, this format is uh, absolutely wonderful for the radio. It's, it's easy to do and um, it's, uh, it works well on the social media and there is a big community and everyone can share and can write something because of the live tweet. And you can use photo or, or cartoons. Um, after that one, there is, um, there is another one when we, we, you work for um, the major French public uh, radio station. Uh, it means that you have many partners and a big event. So um, in France, there is the Tour de France with um, cyclists. I, I think you heard about that. Uh, and it were, well, Many, 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 many people, they like that very much. And, uh, and when you are French or European, um, for 
my fellows and I, when we were a child, we used to go on the roadside and to wait for all the cyclists, and they spent very quickly just a few seconds. Um, so we decided to do this. Where is it? That was good. I can see it. And that one had the music. Sorry. So it's, it's like a map, and you can have video or sound and many archives. And there is a wheel over there, uh, I think you see down. Um, and here, so you can turn it, and you have to click below, it's like a tag, you have many tags. And when you click, you have different archives, and uh, we, we could, uh, we really sent archives from the beginning of the last century. Um, it's in French, so not very really interesting here. Like Dalida is a famous singer yeah. in France. And you could have a video. And it's a really transmedia project because you could have only videos. Uh, you can choose uh, your, your way. Uh, only video, only sound. Uh, and it's 100th century about the Tour de France. And um, there is another one could be interesting. Uh, it's, um, it was about um, a serial killer in France called uh, Francis uh, Holm. Um, her, her history is, um, is, is awful, I would say, because he had an uh, alcoholic father, adoration for his mother, who, who died when he was 23. And uh, he grew up between shelters, psychiatric institution, and detoxification centers. He was arrested in 1992. And, um, and uh, on the radio, the news radio, everywhere it was a trial, so you had news. And, uh, and the, with the editorial um, uh, team, we decided to work on his uh, childhood and just to better understand who is he. Uh, so it's here. And you can scroll. It's not this easy. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah, where is he? different pictures so you can work with different kind of people and this is the same um, the same spirit you, you use text and you use sound and you use archives and you better understand his psychology uh, and you cannot do this on the on the radio so it's better on the website and I think it's really nice and after you have the sound and different testimonies uh, so this is the, it was the, uh, another one, and um, I absolutely, I know I have just one minute left, but there is a very nice story uh, called, uh, maybe you heard about that, called um, Madeleine Project. And uh, Madeleine Project, uh, it was last year, uh, a young journalist, um, she, she, well, you have the story, uh, she moved in a new apartment and uh, she wanted to go to the cellar and she discovered many things, uh, big stuff and she wanted to explore the life of this um, old lady and, and she thought, but how I can tell a story? Maybe I can write a book or a script or whatever and she decided to tell the story um, on a, on, via Twitter, through tw Twitter. So just a minute because... It doesn't work when I, uh, I want it in, uh, in English. Okay, so you have English here. And, um, and the first day at uh, 10 p.m., um, she explained what she did. And one hour, one hour later, she, she put another tweet, and another one, and another one. And it was during one month. And after she had uh, almost one billion people following her, and, uh, and, some, and the community, the web community, said that we will translate in English, so they decided to translate in English. And uh, someone wanted to translate in Spanish, so it's a very nice story and a collegial story. And now she's writing a book. Uh, and what was wonderful is the story, not the virtual story, but in life, is that 
after two months, um, uh, a school, someone discovered that uh, all the pictures, uh, it was a school near Paris in France, uh, so she was invited in the school and uh, all the children, they were 15 or 16, and they said, we would like to, uh, to know more about Madeleine, who is she? So maybe we will go all around to see the neighborhood and to ask, maybe they knew her because uh, she, she lived there. Uh, so it, it took a big, um, uh, it, it worked very, very well. And, uh, and that's why she decided to, uh, to make a story. But uh, the story, it's not only her story. This is a story of everyone because she had one million, one million people uh, helping her to, uh, to tell the story. So I have many other things, but I, what I wanted to say is, um, uh, well, you can read it, I, I, will, I will leave the links if you want to read the story. That there is a, such uh, emotion uh, about that, and after that we saw it in France, but how, how there is a French expression, expression when we say, um, if it's literal, what, what doing something complicated when we can do it simple? And, uh, and at some point we thought maybe just via Twitter or Facebook we can tell a very, very nice story and it can travel everywhere, it's a little bit less complicated. Um, I think I have to finish now. <laughs> so I hope it was um, interesting, um, it was in, in, interesting for you, uh, but um, you, you must think uh, uh, just to, to summarize, you must think about the hosting of the website because sometimes you have some constraints if you want to create a story and it's on a web, newspaper website or radio website, it's not the same. Uh, so um, you have to think about that if you want to create something and, um, and use the open source tools because, uh, because you can become another or director or conductor using them. Thank you very much.